Hi Kevin, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? I'm really good, I'm so happy. So we are at the Opera House in Manchester <sighs> for the Rock of Ages yep. preview, which yep. comes to the Opera House on 25th to 29th of September. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit about this. I am so excited because I love rock music, especially 80s rock. Right, this show is designed for one thing only, is to give the audience the best possible night out. Uh, there's no deep moral, there's no uh, a story that you know, you're going to come out and want you to go. And it's, it's just fun. It's just great fun. Great story, funny, sexy. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you can't come unless, unless you're over 12. Okay. Because yeah. it is raunch. Okay. And um, great music. Mm -hmm. And if, you, if you're a fan of the 80s big hair, uh, big ballads you're gonna you're just gonna have a great time i'm so excited like yeah. you've got some amazing like the final countdown yeah. like starship it's all those songs that I'm people so like but won't admit to i love it like <laughs> i think me and the girls are coming gonna come dressed up oh, you've got to yeah you know, if you want to come and you want to you know you you want to build the big hair and maybe an inflatable guitar oh yeah oh yeah <gasps> Just come and enjoy yourself, that's what it's I'm all I'm going to get one this afternoon yeah. for the premiere. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, it's just, I tell you, it's just fun. We're having, so, we're having such a laugh doing it and, uh, oh, yeah. and rehearsing it. And, and uh, it breaks all the rules uh, the theatrically. Mm. Uh, and we just have, it's just a joy. Have you got any like amazing guitar solo? I mean, obviously, don't give too much away. But we've got everything. Have we've, you? We've got a live band that are on stage with us. It's, it's loud. Raunchy, as I say, uh, big hair. We uh, can't wait. Drug abuse, alcohol abuse, women with not a lot of clothes on, men with not a lot of clothes on. Okay, great. I'm sure you're going to enjoy. This sounds great. All very fun. leather, big leather. hair. Oh, it's Love everything. It. It's it's rock and roll debauchery. Oh, I'm so I can't I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your character. You play Dennis Dupree. Dennis Dupree. Yeah. Uh, who uh, Dennis? Um, who I'm falling in love with actually. He uh, he is he's a lot like myself. He's 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 got a lot of rock and roll pedigree. He's, he's played with a lot of bands and he runs this place called the Bourbon Rooms in Los Angeles in the eighties. Oh wow! And the Bourbon Rooms is the place. Mm. Um, it's like the marquee like in London used to be, and uh, all the big bands have started there. Uh, and Dennis is the owner of this place. He's a rock and roll guru. There's nothing about rock and roll that he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's embraced the uh, Los Angeles drug culture uh, um, and excess culture with great enthusiasm and regularity. Um, so there's a lot of that goes on, uh, which is lots of fun. Um, and the, the, the basic story is a cross between Rocky Horror, Romeo and Juliet, and Spinal Tap. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, so there's a love story, and you've got to have a love story. Yeah. Uh, and there's a bit of threat, they're going to knock down the bourbon rooms, and it's it's all about how that works. A bit when they tried to take out the cobbles of Coronation Street Aww. many moons ago. I'm so glad you brought up Coronation Street, oh, because we have to mention it, Kevin, yeah. because you spent 20 years on the street, you yeah. had some iconic roles, yeah. you play, you, well, your iconic role, Curly Watts, yeah. And obviously you play with some fantastic characters. Yeah. Like it, it's a family. Like like we know it. It's a family over there, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Coronation Street uh, is a family. And I, I tweeted something about it the other day with all the shenanigans with Ryan. Is um, it doesn't matter if you if you're present cast or 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 you 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 post cast. Uh, it's a family feeling, and and yeah. because we had that shared experience. Of Coronation Street, when something like that happens, we, we stick together. Yeah, we stick together and we'll support Ryan. So uh, that was the point I was making. So yeah, I think that was that was yeah. a great point. Yeah. yeah, and obviously, like you know, Coronation Street is literally across the road, the old street. Yeah, yeah. It's there for fifty six years. I know. I um, walked past it then, and I was oh, it's quite sad, really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the new one's brilliant, and they've done yeah. a great job. But uh, there's a lot of my history tied into that building, obviously personal history. So. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Mm. Um, tell us about your touring, because you've been all over the world. You've been to Singapore, like you've been yeah. travelling the theatre. How's that? You did Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, that was Singapore, did, wasn't did it? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Singapore. Uh, 
I did. You've done some amazing things. Well, I've, I've been very diverse. I, I, I didn't want to, when I left Corey, I wanted to do all kinds of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, a lot of that's because I was sort of very early in, in recovery and I just, uh, and they, sure. they said, you can do anything you want. And I believed them. So I said, right, I'm going to do anything I want. So I, I got myself signed to a record deal and I thought, right, I'll do some musical theatre. Yeah. Um, so uh, I did, I wanted to, I did another three West Ends, done a lot of tours. Uh, I did some stuff for uh, Sky Telly. I, mm -hmm. I, I did some, um, some documentaries. I got to play uh, when I was a, rock star, pop star, or whatever star we want to call it. Uh, I played in America and Australia and New Zealand. Wow. Um, and that was good. And then later on, I, I joined a cast of, uh, I did We Will Rock You in the West End, and I joined the We Will cast of We Will Rock You on a, on a cruise ship, and I went. What was that like? It was just great fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, you know. I was did it? a lovely theatre, and, and it was all very modern. Yeah. Brand new ship, and I thought, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do this. Wow. So, I think at the age of 55, I became a, a merchant seaman. Wow. And, and I did all the, because I was part of the crew as well, so I had to do all the flipping life. Oh, maps. really? Yeah, it was great. I just, <laughs> I'll do this. It could be fun. Learn how yeah. to put fires out and, and how to do lifeboat drills. And That's like amazing. That. So uh, it was good. I really enjoyed it. And I got to go right round. Uh, I, did, I, did about, I did about 18 months on there. So I went round all around the Mediterranean, which I just enjoyed because I'm a bit of a history buff and wherever we went off, I could see stuff. And then the opportunity came to go to America and, uh, and out of New York into, into the Caribbean, down to Mexico, across wow. to Bermuda. And, and so I did that and that yeah. was fun. And then uh, I thought, what shall I do now? Uh, and then the commitments came up. Yeah. And I thought, right, I'm going to have to do that because that's yeah, great. Yeah, you've got to. You, have you know, to. That's, that's, and, and because of my Irish heritage, I thought, I've got to do that. Mm. So I did that um, for a while. Then Fat Friends came up. And me, we saw that a few Which, months ago yeah. in Manchester. It was fantastic. Yeah. Freddie is a fantastic Freddie actor. Freddie is great, isn't he? Oh my God, what a great actor. Yeah, he was brilliant. And, and a lovely man. Uh, 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 and the most humblest guy ever. Uh, yeah. Uh, and he was great. He was yeah. Great. Fantastic cast as well. Like, we gave it five stars because yeah. we thought it was brilliant. Yeah. There's so many nice hidden messages in yeah. in it because yeah. at first you think it's going to be quite you know quite a poppy no, kind it was of a very body positive yeah. thing which was great and, and and I thoroughly enjoyed that yeah worked with some wonderful people of course and then and then this turn then you got Rock of Ages so yeah. you got Nick Winston who yeah. just did the director and the choreography for yes. Fame yes. which we gave it another five stars yeah, it's very good it's great did yeah. you have you worked with Nick what's never he? apart from now right um, and. Yeah, he's, he's he's my type of director. Yeah. yeah. We we the first thing we talk about every morning is football. Right. Yeah, which is probably the most important thing in the world. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, of course. And then we, <laughs> then we get into the theatre stuff. Right. But, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a he's a very talented man, um, uh, and very open. You know, he said, "Can we try this? Can we try that?" Yeah. Some directors aren't as generous as he is. And, yeah, I've heard good things about Nick. Yes, and he's a lovely yeah. guy, and, and this cast is. He's, he's very talented, makes you sick. Right. Yeah, because, you know, when I was the age of of, of the cast, that you know, that we didn't go to the gym or eat lentils and stuff. The different, very, the, it was a different era then, yeah. wasn't it? It was a different... Yeah. But they're very dedicated, yeah. very professional yeah, it was and different. focused. Um, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just it's the difference just to, like, what, 20 years, 30 years yeah. ago, we were sort of staying up till four in the morning. But it just shows you how good the music is because, like now, what twenty years later, when all this obviously all this amazing eighties rock music was its peak, it's like well, what we're Still now back. in the twenty first century and it's back. Yeah. Yeah. So and it lives on. Well, it's good music. Good music never dies. And I'm so chuffed that it's here in Manchester because rock music and Manchester has this has this pedigree of, of music and yeah. I'm more of, I'm more of a gritty. Uh, music scene rather than the manufactured stuff you get from other yeah cities. Tony Wilson Hacienda absolutely all that and it's great you know it, it's, yeah. it's real and uh, and of course who could forget you know Jilly's yeah on a Friday night oh god <laughs> you, you know that was rock and roll central <laughs> it was and I loved it in there as well yeah it's taking me back now Kevin <laughs> well it was, we had all that though you see if you wanted the Irish dancing music you go to the Ardry Mm -hmm. And drink lots of Guinness and have fun. And then there was lots of music in the pubs all over the, all over the city. And then you had jillies for your arm. And we yeah. we kind of catered for everything. Um, 
And so, so this is coming here, uh, yeah. which is really our opening. Our of course, opening week. yeah. Uh, I, I could, and plus it's my home city. Of course, it's uh, your home city. And yeah. I, I get such a buzz when I come back here Aww. because I love it. Everyone talks like me. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Kevin, we are so excited for you to come. Oh, it's like, be great. you're great back at your hometown. Yeah. Obviously, say hello to, to Claire and your your, your right. family for yeah. us. And um, yeah, so Rock of Ages will be in Manchester on the 25th to 29th of September. Big hair. Get your tickets. Leather pants. We can't wait. Go for it, man. Rocking. Brilliant. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Cheers.